Hello everyone, RBCP here. I want to show you this thingy that I have that I've had for like 10 years. I'm not quite sure what it is. Uh, it was given to me by uh, this guy in Illinois who gave me a lot of crazy stuff, uh, like kind of sketchy stuff, but uh, he gave me this. He told me it was something that GTE would use back in the day to reprogram switches. And I don't know what kind of switches, but that's what he told me. No other really interesting markings on the outside. The cool stuff's on the inside. Uh, on the front, it says GTE Automatic L. And, you know, it's like ripped off there. I don't know what it's supposed to say. But here's what it looks like. It's crazy awesome because it looks so retro. Uh, it's got all these cables on it that look like this. They all have the same type of connector. Don't really know what it is. And they go into these things, which are these kind of connectors. And uh, I actually can't even think what these are offhand. I don't think they're scuzzy, but they're like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm stupid. Don't expect me to know things. Um, I've tried to Google this Type 200 digital test, digital system test set, uh, and yeah, I, I couldn't find anything on Google, but uh, as you can see, it's got all these cool lights, red LED lights on it, and it's got cool old retro switches that do things. To your CPU and your miscellaneous. Neat. Here, let me like close up on this. Read, write, rewind tape. It's actually tape. Isn't that awesome? Uh, these are push buttons and data things. Oh, and a cool thing. You use this to type in your uh, launch codes for missiles. Uh, it's kind of like an interesting setup. Like, a, B, C, D, E, F. You know, it's it's like a weird layout, I think. And what I would do if I could edit video easily, because I don't really feel like editing video, but I would take a screwdriver and and pull the top off of this and show you what's underneath. Hmm. I wish I could just pause this video and do that, but stupid iPhone. So anyway, this is this is what this is. North Lake, Illinois. I-L-L, -L, Illinois, USA. I actually, uh, I, I took this on an airplane once and I was kind of afraid it was going to, uh, you know, I was going to get, like, arrested for being a terrorist because this is obviously a giant bomb. There's, like, little folders to keep your paperwork in. Oh, here's some cool numbers that I never saw before. Yeah, those are cool numbers. Hmm. Maybe I'll make a separate video where I take this apart. Or maybe I will just edit it on there. Yeah, maybe that's what I'll do. Okay, I'm going to try and take this thing apart. It's going to take me longer than it usually would take because I'm doing this one-handed so I can hold the camera. Yeah. Oh, and I didn't point out earlier, look at this. Like these big seven-segment LED displays. I would love to see this thing turned on with all the blinking lights, and man, that would be awesome. But I have no idea, like, you know, how is it powered? I mean, I, I, I guess power maybe comes through these things? That doesn't seem likely. Maybe there's a battery inside here. I guess we'll find out in a minute. I think there's four screws that are necessary to take off. Actually, maybe it was just those three, I don't know. Oh, five screws. Oh, this is exciting. I wish I could... Oh my god. Alright, yeah, there's nothing good in here. Just a old-fashioned circuit board, which mainly, mainly houses the uh, the buttons. You know, like the, the button stuff. Yeah, so there there's no exciting circuitry. I think I see some chips inside there. I really don't feel like taking all of this apart, but uh, as you can see, it's 
not too exciting. Oh, this is cool. These are like these big pole things where you wrap stuff around them and God, they're not even soldered. They're just wrapped. Wait, maybe they're soldered. I don't know. Wow. Here, let me try and take one off. No, they're wrapped around. They're really good. I've seen these before in something else, but I don't know what. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see... I mean, I see, like, giant... Giant old-fashioned resistors in there. I don't know if you can see those. But, like, there, there's very little actual electronic components inside of there. Yeah, yeah, this is pretty much just, like, a switchboard. There's nothing... You know, there's, it's not a computer or anything that can do anything. You have to hook it up with these things to a, some sort of a crazy switch. And that would make things happen on here. Yeah, I don't know what to do with this thing. I've had it for like 12 years or something now. Somebody come to my house and take this from me, please. <laughs>